It's big moves like that on Wall Street that get Main Street investors concerned about their investments, their IRAs, their 401ks, and their 529s. So how concerned are they? Eamon Javer has traveled to Frederick, Maryland to take the pulse of middle America. Here on the main street of Frederick, Maryland, the big news of the day was the first day of school for area students. People here know about the wild gyrations in the stock market, but they don't seem phased by the news. When things are going up and down, I think keeping a calm head is much better when you, uh, when you look at the stock markets. Trust your financial advisor. Uh, if you have a long-standing relationship with him or her, just listen to their advice. That's, that's all you can do, really. Panic is, is not something that should be resorted to. Over lunch at Crab Apples Deli, people are more focused on the real economy than on Wall Street. I'm in construction. I see what's going on, and, and construction is pretty indicative, I think, of how the economy is going to some degree, from my perspective. So, things are good in your world. Things are very good in the world, yeah. For me at my age, I'm going to leave it in there 30 more years, so there's no point in stressing from day to day. But not everyone thinks the worst is over. I think there's more to come. I think the I think the money that's been dumped in the market through the government has been um, has propped it up. What people are telling us here mirrors what we saw in a CNBC.com survey over the weekend. 7,500 people polled of those. 37% said that they would sell nothing today no matter what happened. An additional 13% said they would buy nothing today. That's about 50% overall who said effectively they're going to sit on their hands today no matter what happened during the day's trading. That poll did find a little bit of panic, though. They found 4% of the people who said they would sell everything today. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in Frederick, Maryland.